<laughs> I usually talk very fast. I'm Sandy Reed with Ring Innovations, and I'm here to do a little demonstration on our new curve from Harness Container. And it's with a, an old friend of mine, JF. We call him JF, okay? Because we call him. Okay. Bonjour. Bonjour. So, here's what we have. The curve started out two years ago as, a, as an update for our voodoo harness and container. And at the symposium that we had in, in Reno, we had what we called the little black voodoo. It was all black and it had a little special harness and everything. And it rapidly started to develop into something considerably different. And now, two years later, we only have 10% voodoo and 90% new things into it. So we have three main differences that, are, that make the big difference. There's a lot of little ones, but three big ones. The first one is this right here. We call this the bio yoke because this section of the harness is known as the yoke. It goes over the shoulder. What this is, this is shorter than the standard yoke, so when you put it on, it's suspended like this on the shoulder. And what it does, it relieves the pressure from the risers, the housings, and the hard part of, of the harness. At the same time, by doing this, it also holds it slightly higher on the back. Now, the second thing I did was I've actually contoured the back. Most rings have their back pad is just as straight as mine. So I've taken this and I offset it by an inch because when in looking at the, the our previous rings, like the Buddha, it got very fat out here because all the bulk is being pushed this way. So now, in contouring this, we're taking that and move it inwards so this now contours to the small of the back. Okay? So that's the second thing. The third thing, I came up with a totally new leg strap configuration, which fits differently than before. The geometry is a little lower, and it hugs around the, the leg itself. And the way it's designed, it has a special, I call it a secret angle in there, we don't tell people what it is, but it makes it different on how it grips the leg. So now, particularly if you're free flying or just generally flying, when you lift your leg, it doesn't go loose, it stays tight on it. And because it's also coupled through the horizontal, right through here, into the leg, it pulls forward and it pulls it into the small of the back. Now, the, this here, this is a magnetic slider stow that we have. We call it a sky tie. We have this as built-in standard on the, uh, on the harness, or on the container, so that it's external to it. Because other people that have them where they, have, they go around the flap, have you seen it? And it's not very nice because you have a strap on the inside of the reserve flap. If you use the reserve, it comes open. You have something in there that the reserve can interfere with. So this is done. And it's, it's detachable. It has little Velcro tabs. You can take it off or you can put it on. Not everybody uses them, but those that want, we make it so that it matches up. Yeah. Another thing that we did, this is one of the first things that was on the Little Black Voodoo. We changed the closing sequence of the main container. And instead of a grommet, like we would normally have, we have these little end tabs right here. And I have a sample. Okay, so another announcement. So you are pulling on something solid instead of, instead of pulling the grommet out, yes. you have a very strong attachment. Yes. And this comes in, it's shaped like this, and goes in here, so it gives us the length that we want, so it's very smooth on the pull. And, but it ends up with a little soft flap here, so when we pack the bridle, we put the pin underneath it like this, so it's protected, keeps it away from the bridle. But the key thing is, instead of stacking the grommets on top so it becomes thick, now they come together in the middle. You can see they're, they're touching right there. So we have one less thickness. So now when you close the flap, it's very smooth. It's very clean. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. The other thing is, is, if you look at the interior of this, this flap opens up quite a bit. This is probably the most uh, wingsuit friendly rig that you will get because everything is set up, it's perfect for wingsuiting. Uh, the aerodynamics, the shape of it, it's very low drag, and the way the main opens that it, the bag will come out very easily. So there's very little as far as the enclosure on the corners of, of the container. Now another thing that, that we've been doing this for at least uh, two, two years or more, on the BOC pocket, we have a little flap right here. So when you pack the pilot chute, you have it packed so the hacky is down here in the corner, the bridle comes out the top, and then this goes on top of the pilot chute, and it keeps the pilot chute from sneaking out a little bit. Now this has a free fly handle. If you have that, you just ignore it and just put the pilot chute on top, and then when you close it, you have the free fly handle which is under the side, 
and inside the pocket here. So you get the boast of both worlds. What's really nice though with the hacky when you do this, it always keeps it at the corner. Because without it, depending on how you pack it, sometimes it creeps up and you have to reach further and further to find the handle. So this keeps it in the corner and it works very nice. A couple of other things that we have that uh, we added to it. One of the things that we found, or several things, is that people were adding other things to the rig after they bought it. The sky tie was a typical example. They say, I want to have something to stow the slider, so they would buy the sky tie. Um, also, what we find now is people are getting a very long chest strap. The you know, swoopers, they want something that's very long and it stretches out. So they have this when they, when they uh, put it together. We have a lot of excess uh, straps. So we made a little pocket out here. What you do is you stow it like this after you put it on. This fits inside, so that fits in like that. You can take the end and, and fold it back, and it locks it in. So now that holds it in, so it keeps it going. Because you always either lose this or it stretches out and it, it's ineffective at that point. And then the last thing is we have a built-in hook knife over here, so it's built in on the right side so you can get it for, with either hand. They always wanted to add a uh, hook knife and they either put it on the chest strap or the leg strap or something, so now we have a hook knife that's built into it. So all of these are part of the standard configuration. And one thing we've been doing for years, we have one price with everything. The only option that we have is if you buy a sky tie or if you want your name in the down here. Everything else. The stainless steel, the space foam, everything in the design is all one price. Our competitors, they start with a low price. It's like buying a car. Yeah. You want, you want tires on your car? You have to pay for the tires. You want a radio? You want it, uh, whatever, you know? And you need most of them. Right. So now what, I would, what I'd like to do is I'd like you to have try this on because, you know, I can tell you about it. You can read about it. You can, you, can it, you know, whatever. You have to try it. Okay? <laughs> I'm not that flexible either. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you do this, don't tighten this up. Just thread it through and then leave it loose. Do the, the, the leg straps first. It's important because what that does, it sets it on the back in the right location. So you take it down. You're almost there. You're going to find out. Now, make sure it's tight. Okay? And that's not tight. That's right down the line. I know. That's, you're, not a, you're not a masochist. Okay, we'll go back and do it. So, don't worry about the little straps. Okay, that's good. So now, here's what we have. With this size in here, the main lift on it is straight. Mm -hmm. When you tighten this in, it's going to come in and this will get shorter. So you can do a little fine tuning to the tension of the heart to either bring this further on the shoulders or to make it fit just a little bit tighter. Okay. So now what we have, and I'm going to turn around here, this is the bio yo. I can feel this right here, it's now it has tension on it. So this is carrying the load right here, you can wash it back. So see now, the hard parts are back. So all you have is just the padded part that holds it so it's more comfortable. And now, if you look at this with the side, you can see here, with the contoured back pad, there's no space. With a lot of rigs, you can actually see daylight through there, or you can put your hand through it. With this. Yeah, we're not doing my back, even if I'm doing a, a crow. Exactly. Right. And also, just from Archie, just doing the rolling work, formation skydiving, with the rig being out, no, you can arch really hard, it doesn't come down on the back. Because on the other ones, it drops down, it hits here. So you can only go so far, and that's it. Now, it stays on the back where you want it. 
It's your color. It looks good. <laughs> Thank you, Sunday. I will be living with it. It goes well with your hair. <laughs> you can say that. You have the same hair as I do. I can, I can say that to my friends. I, I can okay. be a bit lighter in color than you are. And it's solid with me. This is, I can this, make. Right. And here's what we have. We have values type. This way and this way, it doesn't move around. It stays with the body. So no matter what you're doing with the body, the range stays with you at all. Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for your information. We have two ruffles for you. We look very shortly indeed. The first one is at the car here. So, Thanks, Andy. What do you think? And the second is going to be at... This is the best rig in the world. Now here, here's the here's the final final thing. I always tell people there's only three kind of rigs in the world now: bricks, boards, and curves. Nice. <laughs>